Oscar, uh, what is your recollection of the shot that you took and kind of oh. what it took to come back? Well, I was just in there uh, in the paint and did the pump fake, and then somebody, I think, hit me with an elbow maybe or something, and I got like a little bump right here. Um, so I just went out and had my trainer and my doctor look at it. But it didn't really hurt, so came back in. No, it's just a little bump. Just got hit, yeah. Spencer, how do you feel about the way you guys defended today? I felt like the first half, it was great. That's what we epitomized as a team, really making sure we uh, play inside out, you know, have great have defense and then contest the outside threes. The second half, we could have picked it up a little better, but I thought the first half was really great. All right, five threes for you today, and um, also this is seven rebounds. So you were going inside and out, so how do you feel about your game? I feel like I'm doing well in my role as a 3 and D player, and I, I love it, whatever helps the team win. Spencer, watching what the work Oscar's doing inside uh, offense and defense, how do you describe it from your perspective right now? It's just, it's just a culmination of all the work he's ever put in in the gym. I mean, I see him there all the time, especially after uh, games like this, we'll get him for treatment for hours and hours. And I mean, it's not a surprise to me how great he is on the inside. Oscar, how much has it helped you in the post to have someone like Spencer who clearly has to be respected on the outside? It's really good. I mean, like getting the ball inside for us really opens up the shots on the outside. Um, I think that like coach talks to us about our offensive efficiencies off the charts if we get the ball to the paint in a possession, whether it be like scoring in the paint or getting to the paint and then kicking it outside. So we really try to like get the ball inside as much as we can, and then that'll open up our whole offense for us. And you've been here three years and clearly guys have turned a bit of a corner to start this season. What are the biggest differences about this team versus the, the two that you started with? I think the brand of basketball is just different. It's more, it's like a really nice, well-oiled machine. We play very well together and it's like team first, team first, team first. That's been the emphasis from the start. Um, and in combination with that, I think our defense is like the best it's ever been. Um, probably as a result of that, like everybody plays together really well. We help each other out on, de on the defense event and that makes it tough for opponents to score. Yes, yes. Oscar, you talked about your defense being the best it's ever been, but with the inside out game, how are you guys offensively compared to the piece of the team? Um, I think it's just more like there's more threats. I think like we have more more weapons in our arsenal. Um, you know, I love 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 that mid post area. Uh, you know, make plays for myself or for others. And then we have great shooters like Spence, Ty can really shoot it. Isaac can really shoot it on the outside. Um, Dejan and Bryce make great plays off the bounce, so like it's a very good combination of, of different styles of, of like individual skills that come together really nicely for us. How much has that helped you, knowing that you have those other weapons, to really open things up for you down? Oh, a lot. Yeah, it opens things up, and I think uh, it also gives me confidence to you know go out there and do my thing and you know, try and score and make plays for somebody else, and having the confidence that they are going to be able to make a play if I give up the ball. Spencer, this will be the first time that you get that long final break, so no games for a while. Is there anything in specific that you're trying to focus on during this time? Uh, definitely pick up my conditioning a little bit, you know, so we can continue to have great first halves as well as great second halves, so my so my defense can stay consistent. And then, I mean, definitely got a lot of school work to catch up on. <laughs> I'll be working on that. Were you feeling it a little bit conditioning-wise in the second half today? Uh, today was different. I was coming off a little sickness, but um, I mean, I just want to keep my play as consistent as, as it can be. Um, it gives you confidence right out the gate for sure. Um, I think uh, what we struggle with as a, t as a team a little bit is like keeping the foot on the gas. Like like you said, like they came in. I think it was like 14 to 11 um, after a few minutes after that. So um, we just got to do a better job at not letting the opponents back in the game. And I think that like it's a great way to start the game. That's, that's how we started the game against Oklahoma. Um, and yeah, it gives you like, it gives you a lot of um, momentum. Thank you. Thanks guys. All right, let me uh, begin by saying, uh, obviously ex certainly excited about the win. I think Wilmington, I think what you're gonna see is uh, a team that, um, improves and will make a run the second half of their season. I'm certainly friendly and very good friends with their coach, uh, C.B. McGrath. And uh, I think a lot of the things they're going through and 
developing as a program. Uh, I felt like I was doing not only here, but when I was at UAB. And I think they're going to be uh, really good as time wears on and he's building the culture and has some really good pieces. I think we saw in the second half of playmaker shooters, they're playing hard and competed really at a, a high level. So for us to get the win against a, a good team like that is great. And uh, it wasn't easy for them uh, with their travel schedule. It's a challenging deal. They played Boise State on Friday, had some travel issues yesterday. So, but at the end of the day, we were able to uh, compete pretty hard that first half and execute our game plan. How did you feel about the defense in the first half? Kind of what stood out to you on that end of the court? Uh, I thought it was uh, I thought it was very good. Maybe not our best, but it was very good. Um, guys were uh, getting into the paint pretty well. I thought we had pretty ha active hands, uh, getting some deflections. Uh, our doubling of the post a couple times produced uh, a couple turnovers. Um, and then, uh, you know, there were a couple of things that they did a nice job exploiting uh, on us in the second half and getting some clean looks from three. But the first half, I thought the activity and the intent was really good. And now to finish that off, I would say our transition defense in the first half was not good. That would be the one area that I thought we need to improve upon. And what about the ebb and flow of you get the 12-0 run and then they come back with a 9-0 run? You know, it's kind of close early, then you guys got up to 25 uh, advantage in the second half. So what, how can you really surmise how the game was? Well, the reality is every game, every practice, every season, you're going to have uh, obstacles and lessons that you're always trying to learn from. You know, the Maryland Eastern Shore game, uh, I thought at halftime we really struggled mentally to come out and, and play aggressively. I thought maybe to a certain extent, but for the most part, I thought that we were engaged in the second half and, and playing hard. Um, sometimes you can get lulled into sleep when you have success. A couple shots go in, you know, a couple bounces go your way to think, well, it's going to be a little bit easier so I can take a shortcut. Maybe I don't have to cut as hard on this play, or maybe I can make that really hard pass uh, to try and get that assist, and that's when things go awry. And I think the lesson to be learned is we have to be locked in every play with the expectation the next play is always going to be uh, challenging. And we have to do it as a team and as a group. And that'll be a, a message that continues to be delivered. Um, and human nature sometimes makes you try and go against the grain on that. Um, but it's something we're going to continue to deliver that message. And our guys are certainly uh, buying into the message that we're giving them. Yes, our game plan offensively is to uh, play with pace, get to multiple sides of the floor, and then attack from the inside out. And then we can have guys put the ball on the ground and attack off the bounce, which is great. Um, but it's not the only way you can get the ball to the inside. And one of the best ways that we have at our disposal is throwing it to Oscar. So not only as a scorer, but putting him as a playmaker uh, from the post. So we'll continue to, to look to get him touches, and I think uh, – He's making a lot of good decisions in there, and um, as long as he's not turned the ball over, and good things are going to tend to happen. Was there anything in particular coming out of the Butler game that you wanted them to focus on today? The biggest thing was our mindset, and I know that's not a technical answer, but uh, technically, our attitude this entire year, we're going to have specific things for every game. Um, but we're really going to lock into the mindset of if we're doing what we're doing, things are going to work out well. And that, was, that was the primary focus. The one maybe tangible thing was turnovers, and we talked about trying to keep it under 10 turnovers today, and we ended up getting a silly one for a tenth when Ty stepped out of bounds. Um, but if we're operating around the 10 turnover number, we're going to be pretty good. So, so how gratifying is it to have Spencer have this kind of game? Five threes, two blocks, seven rebounds. So let him rebound, let him rebound. <coughs> working on both ends of the court, so how gratifying is that? Well, he's been pretty impressive. And uh, defensively, he's been impressive uh, with his ability to guard the basketball, with his length, to be able to challenge shots. Um, he was a little bit under the weather today um, and still performed at that level. And look, shooting makes everything look a lot better. It makes every play look better. It makes every uh, everything kind of uh, feel a little bit better when you're a coach. And so he's added that. Uh, and it's not just that he's a good shooter. Um, but he has the ability to get the shot off against length or against good teams, and um, and he can make shots under duress. And so all those things have been a real positive right now, and he's adding a ton of value to our team. You said before the season started you wanted to be able to score in transition, but also you wanted to be able to run the shot clock down and get something good at the end. How did you feel you did at those two speeds today? Pretty good. I would say we, we uh, played fast at times. Um, 
when we shouldn't have. I, I would say there's going to be six, eight, maybe ten possessions in the game where we're trying to make a play in the first ten seconds that I would rather us slow it down, and not even slow it down, but get them all moving side to side. You know, if we had, and, I, and it doesn't have to be win in the shot clock, but if it's we can substitute a good shot for a great shot, let's do that in the first 10 seconds. You know, if we can get a great shot the first 10 seconds, let's do it. Otherwise, let's get that ball moving, attack the paint, and get to multiple sides. And I do think there's going to be six or eight times through this game where I'm going to say, you know, that, that shot's probably a little bit too early, not because it's a horrible shot, but we might be able to get a better one uh, moving it a little bit. And then you've had a bunch of different situations going into this long break over the last few seasons. Have you thought about how you want to use this particular break with this particular team? I have. Um, I have a lot of uh, mental notes and, I guess, physical notes. And tomorrow I'm going to uh, finalize really a, the, the two-week plan. And I'm going to get into the nitty-gritty of really every practice and every day what we're going to be looking to do. Um, it is going to be a little bit non-traditional with the dead week, with finals, uh, being able to adjust things with our recruiting schedules. Uh, but what it is going to be is uh, organized uh, with an understanding our conditioning needs to get uh, increased. And our conditioning has been a major positive this year. Um, but our conditioning needs to get better. Our, uh, we need to clean up things offensively. We need to understand all the nitty gritty defensively. And then the you know, special situations. Uh, we'll do a lot of different special situations that we can get organized as we go into conference season. So we're cleaned up on those. But we'll have a, a real plan with what we're doing. Um, and uh, I'll have that organized by tomorrow. So you mentioned about uh, the way uh, Spencer can get a shot off in any way possible. Um, is there anybody you ever played against, played with, or coached that? Yeah, but he's still a freshman, so I'm not going to put uh, <laughs> put any comparisons out there okay. that, that are outlandish. Because, uh, but there are some guys I've played with in the past or coached that uh, have the ability to get their shot up and have the length to be able to do it. But uh, I'll uh, I'll hold off on that until uh, you know he uh, is a little bit older. Okay. I don't want to sing too many praises right now. Yeah, I thought Lucas really provided energy. But those guys, anybody coming off the bench needs to provide a positive, a positive with energy, a positive with pace, a positive with understanding the game plan. Lucas certainly did today. Um, in most games, we've kind of had a variety of a couple guys really stepping up and playing well, a couple guys that maybe didn't have it uh, that game. But our bench will be instrumental in how we do this season. And uh, we're going to continue to rely on them. And there's going to be opportunities for those guys to step up as we move forward. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.